Hey YouTube, this is Dr. Wanda and I'm seated with Gia. It's been so long since she and I sat down and talked with you and in that time so much has happened. It's literally been months since we sat down and of course everything from the separation to the rebuilding to um, consistently living alone, all of this, of course I, everybody knows my journey is with my once 11 year old but now my 12 year old daughter <laughs> and uh she has not um gone through this unscathed it has um done it's it's um it's left its scar it's injury but um interesting enough uh gia has managed to float above most of it she has been soaring like eagles above most of it so gia what do you want to say about the season that we have found ourselves in in this country? Um, this season, it's been really cold. Mm. Not just weather, but physically, like mentally, it's been cold. Mm. Like in terms of friendship, relationship, and the weather itself. Mm, it has it's been, been cold. really, really cold. Yeah. Um, it's been great that I've been alone with you in this house. Mm -hmm. It's more peaceful. Uh, you could enjoy yourself in this in this apartment without having to worry about somebody hovering over your back, worrying about a spoon and a fork okay. that needs to be clean. Okay. So you're able to be your complete self. Self, yeah. Yeah. And um, it's been more free. We do more activities. And we don't have to really worry about somebody like adding a person to it. Mm -hmm. Like you're going out to go painting, and the money is um, one fifty for one person. Um, that's three people. That's a lot. Yeah. For just mm -hmm. one person. So, right. yeah, it, it's more fun for you to do activities and mm -hmm. and get out and stretch your legs and feel free and do what you want. Okay. And how how is your heart? How are you feeling in, in terms of, you know, when you wake up in the morning and you think, okay, I'm still living in Ghana. Um, and, you know, that, that that there's a period that we both was like, Father God, if you can just get us a plane so we can go. <laughs> and then you had to remind me that I, I told you that I was not going to let what? Somebody run you out of the country. I said ain't nobody running me out of nothing. Okay, so you re had to re even remind me of my own. <laughs> my own declaration. So, yeah, where where are you at? Where's your, where's where's my daughter's my twelve year old daughter's heart at? Um, I still feel like I belong here, but okay. then I still feel like I want to go back because yeah. Right now we're on school break. Mm -hmm. I'm here with my mom in this house. Mm -hmm. Um, we got two more weeks left, so I still got two more weeks of joy. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going back to chaos. When well, you going back to to academic structure and school and chaos. All, all the stuff that goes with that. I refuse to call it chaos, but I chaos. Understand, I understand you're a kid, so you call it that. Um, yeah, but we listen. We we went up to the Volta region. Yeah, we did. That's your first region. Yeah. So you finally got to do the region, and Volta region was how? What did you think of the Volta region? The Volta region was very beautiful. Volta, very beautiful. The, the, it was very green. It's trees, a lot of trees, rain, and more trees. A lot of rain, a lot yeah. of mountains. Yeah. A lot of um, joy, a lot of. We went up to the Volta village. region with, um, as part of a one day tour I put together with Benini Foundation. Um, compliments of Benjamin Apare, and he was absolutely lovely in organizing that tour. We had an opportunity to plant a Wanderlands library. We met the chief. The chief was nice. Yeah, the chief was The chief was nice. extra nice. Um, we had an opportunity to stop at a clinic called Merciful Clinic. And then we also, um, what did we do? I'm missing one thing we did. Yeah. The, 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 the school. I did the school. And the library. I did the library. And the I... chief and the clinic. I guess that was the whole tour, wasn't it? Yeah, that was the okay, whole tour. Okay, well, that was the tour. And we got to eat their traditional food. We got a chance to, to say, I wouldn't say eat, taste. sample, taste 
But yeah, Volta was the Volta region was beautiful. So that's Gia's first region. So you did get a little bit of a break so far. Yeah, you had I have. a little bit of a vacation. Yeah, I have. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. But you want more. Yeah, I want more. She wants more. So I'm hoping because we went um, Volta North. We're gonna try to go to Holt, which is the 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 center of the Volta region. We want to try to do that before we go. And um, yeah, so I've gotten back into myself. There was a period where I wasn't into myself. And part of me getting back into myself is help from, oh, yeah. Gia Boo. Yeah. <laughs> Gia Boo had to uh, mildly coach me. And um, what were you doing? What, 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 what was going on in your mind? Um, basically, what was going on in my mind was I'm not celebrating anybody who hurt my mom's feelings. Okay. That's number one. Okay. Um, I'm not going to, even even though I'm supposed to stay in a child's place, there's mm. a little bit of bitterness in me that still m makes me hate that person. <laughs> okay. But I still got to stay in my area and mm -hmm. I still stay cool because mm -hmm. I know if I get mad, I'm not helping her because no. she's already filled with anger. Mm. So why am I adding mm. to, to, to fire? Yeah. Well, Gia's been been very instrumental in quelling the fire. Now, the, the, the fire will probably not completely go out. And some of that is that just that I'm a passionate person to begin with. And I just feel like um, sometimes things happen to you that's not fair. And even though it happens to all of us, you know, it takes some of us longer to accept it, that that, that, that happens. So, but in the meantime, um, the phoenix has risen. We are we, we have risen and had some really exciting things from the Republic Day match to the um, to the, uh, the the card tournament that was in Tim Newtown. I mean, lots of good work. And Gia has been by my side in all of it. What does that feel like to, in the midst of a storm, begin to fight our way through and rise up and still be authentically? Who we are and also still get the God work done um I would say it's it's the the God work and the still having to be just cool stay chill and all that is a 50 50 for me okay because um, the God work is what my mom does and I have to keep that going because if she stops doing her God work it's something wrong. It's yeah. an issue there. Yeah. So I got to keep her healthy, calm. Even if she's angry, she still does her work. That's <laughs> what she's meant to do. That's what she's brought here for. Mm -hmm. But I also wow. have to stay cool and chill just to keep things going, just mm -hmm. to keep things right, just to make sure everything's right in place because that's my job. Mm. I love that you know your job. And I can tell you, to my surprise, Gia uh, has stepped into that job very, very well. Because normally, Gia would be a meltdown person. You meltdown, she meltdown. You sad, she sad. But this time was very, very different. Um, it could be that you're 12 now, and I'm going through something. I don't know. But there was a lot of maturity that stepped in there. And, you know, never get it twisted. I'm always mama bear. But, um, yeah, our children... We learned that our children are quite resilient and that they are learning a lot about the bounce back game and the way that you do it. Like sometimes you need to fake it till you make it to quote an old adage, you know, like you just need to get up and do it until, you know, it starts to feel right and starts to feel normal. So how much of normalcy is back in our life? I would say like a good, I want to choose an odd number, like a mm -hmm. good out of 10? Six out of 10. Okay. Because, I mean, it's it's still kind of weird, mm -hmm. but where it's not completely weird. Because, okay. I mean, you've gotten things that you like. Mm -hmm. you've, gotten, you've gotten your house into an order where you want it. Yes. I mean, um, you, you're building your store up. Yes, 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 yes. I'm really yes. proud of you with your store. Yes. Especially your juice, your okay. Wonderland juice. Yes. Um, you've gotten your workers, your workers are helping you. It's never been an issue with your store. Mm -hmm. Um, 
The only thing I would say is there used to be one person here and that person was X'd out of the crayon box. Okay. So you, you're feeling the difference of the of the extraction. Yes. Okay. So um yeah, me too. I'm proud of the store. Um uh, I am still, you know, um like yeah, still re rebuilding and reshaping, but it definitely has a frame and a strong foundation. And yeah, my team is beautiful and loving and and, and highly supportive. Um, I would say that about the family too. Yeah, the family the, the as family. well. But the family are also in the store. Yeah, and then um, I've been amazed at my community. You know, as much as I want sometimes want to move, I love my community, and my community is. Uh, and they care about me, you know, like yeah. the love is, is cyclical. And so, you know, when I think about starting back over in the area, especially knowing that I'm not completely healed, um, that makes me pump my brakes a little bit. Makes yeah. me pump my brakes a little bit, but thank you. Yeah, Julia hasn't sat down. So she's on break from school. Um, we definitely needed the break. It's been really, really nice having her home. Um, she's even started helping me with the store. Like she's cutting labels. We have to know Gia. Gia don't want to cut no labels. But she's cutting them and uh, doing a very good job. Uh, has been to the post office and she sees my flow in terms of packaging. She's learning about like why she's been at school. What is this stuff that mom has been doing? And so she sees. She's beginning to meet some of the other players like um, Beninif and, mm -hmm. mm -hmm, and seeing who are some of these other people that are coming in to support me. That's been nice, right? It has. Yeah. <clears throat> in an odd way, um, I've made this new um, network that is, is is very different from anything I expected and very um, very vital to keeping us healthy and moving forward. So we got some good stuff coming ahead, yeah. which is we're launching, relaunching Wonderlands. Juice. Well, not juice, the park. Oh, right, the park. Yeah, we're relaunching the park. <laughs> I have the bench, the seesaw repaired, the bench repaired, the, the little um, trampoline that was donated by my lovely friend Naomi Hustle has been spray painted so with a, 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 a black coating so it doesn't rust. Um, I've set my date, which is September 10th, when um, I'm actually this time doing something very, very different, which is I'm actually offering a scholarship to a young person to come every Saturday and work with the youth. Uh, open up the library, put the time in. So they would have to give me 250 um, hours of service and within a six week period. And what they get is 250 US dollars to apply towards school. Mm -hmm. So part of the stipulations is they have to show me that they are in school, you know, that they actually have a letter. They have to, they have to be between 18 and 25 years old. They have to be from this community poem. And um, what else did I stipulate? I think that's it. Yeah. So this time I want to make sure that the Wonderlands Park and that library get supported because previously I had to remove the books. I had to remove the learning aids because water was going in there when it rained. Uh, the um, Sometimes they would stick their fingers through the slats and steal certain things that they could slide through. And then the other thing was language. You know, I couldn't be out there by myself. And my husband didn't always want to be out there with me. So that began to like sort of discourage me. So this time around, I want to make sure that whether I'm there or not, there's a, an accountable person that shows up and they work, they put, they come and get the equipment and set it up for the young people. And then they also engage with them. Cause I, I, I love play, but mm -hmm. I like learning through play. Let's get some reading. Let's get some basic writing. Let's get some, let's get some, some, uh, art skills. You know, let's work with some dexterity. Let's get that going. So we're going to do that, right? Yeah, we are. Yeah. So anything else you want to tell the people? Oh, this is my new juice. Yeah, yeah, juice. Beetroot pineapple. <laughs> beetroot pineapple. So it's absolutely delicious. What you get from that beetroot is it's immune booster. It lowers your blood pressure. It prevents constipation. And it cleans that blood. So that's that's added to the juice line. What you want to say before we go, Jim? Um, The juice is very tasty. It's really sweet. And it has that natural sweet, not that sugar, not, sugar, not, sugar, not white that sugar, 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 not that Gatorade taste. <laughs> I like Gatorade. Gatorade works with your electrolyte. It does. Yeah, but yeah, I get you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Anything else you want to tell them before we go? I love my mom. I love you too, Jimbo. <laughs> we signing out. <laughs>